Hey everyone, I have a really exciting DIY for you today. I made a dead rose floral crown. I'm going to use this for a Halloween tutorial, but this kind of DIY works for pretty much any floral crown that you want to make. I just personally made mine black, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I will tell you how I'll make one of these little babies for your very own. So here is what you're going to need for this DIY. Some plastic flowers. I have three little sets here, but I ended up using around four. You're also going to need some cutting pliers, some stem wrap tape, as well as some stem wire, and scissors are optional. I ended up not using my scissors, but some of you guys might find them helpful. And by the way, I got all of my crafting supplies from my local Hobby Lobby. Now you can see that I am separating the flowers a little bit just to make it easier on myself so I know where to cut and I don't accidentally cut any other stems by mistake. Now I'm taking my cutting pliers and I'm just going to go a kind of a couple inches down on the fake flower stem and snip. It's that easy. I chose to cut them with a couple of inches remaining as you can see just because personally it was a bit easier for me to wrap them around and I just felt that I could secure them more easily that way. And after you cut the first flower and you kind of get the hang of it just go ahead and cut the rest and try to keep them pretty much the same length. I started off with 10 flowers but I found out that I eventually needed a bit more so I would probably cut about 15. Next, taking your 22 gauge floral wire, you're going to want to wrap this around your head so you know pretty much how long you want your crown to be, or how wide rather. And I didn't film this because I found it was a bit awkward to do on camera, but all you're going to want to do is unravel a little bit and wrap it around your head just so you know where to cut the wire. And I would recommend probably making the wire cut about an inch to an inch and a half longer than you think it would be just because you're going to have to wrap the wire around itself and as you can see there's mine. So next you're going to want to take the extra or kind of um, excess length of your crown of your wire here and wrap it around itself and this is just going to help your crown to be really secure and stay in place in that circular shape. So after I was done wrapping the wire, I took my wrapping tape and wrapped a really long piece around that twisted wire part. This is going to serve two purposes. One, to keep you from getting, you know, nicked or scratched by that kind of harsh wire edge there. And two, just to keep the crown a bit more secure and to hold it together a bit better. Next, here comes the fun part. This is when we're going to actually attach the roses to the wire crown. So I would honestly say that the first flower is probably the most difficult, but once you do the first one and you complete it successfully, it gets a lot easier from there. All you want to do is just take your stem of your flower and align it with the wire. And then from there, you're going to take your floral wrap tape and just wrap it along the length of the stem tightly wrapping just to make sure that you secure it to the actual wire part of your crown. So here are my awesome wrapping skills in action and the good thing about using this tape is that it's very sticky so it makes the whole wrapping process a lot easier. And here is what your first flower should look like. So I sped up the rest of my clips of me wrapping the flowers because I figured it would be pretty boring for you guys just to watch 15 minutes of that. But it's a really easy technique. All you're going to want to do is just where you finish the wrap of the first flower, that's where you're going to want to put your bud of the second flower. This kind of just creates a seamless look. And this is a really good project to do while you're watching TV or something. I was actually watching YouTube videos at the time because it's so repetitive and it just kind of is something that's very easy to do once you get the hang of it. And here's a surprise cat attack. This is my cat Wally and he is probably the most curious cat we had. He came over to investigate what I was doing. So 
here is some more footage a bit forward in the project when I was almost done and as you can see the technique is still the same and it's still really easy to do even when the crown is mostly finished. Just place the flower and wrap like crazy. So here is the underside of the crown when it's done and as you can see there aren't really any stems visible. That's what you want to go for. It's just a very wrapped and sleek look. And here is the finished crown on me. I think it looks really awesome. I'm so pleased at how it turned out. And I think it would look really awesome on you, which is why I'm really excited to have a giveaway. The rules are super simple. All you need to do is be a subscriber to this channel. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And in the comments section, tell me what you are planning on being for Halloween and why. And for one extra bonus entry, you can follow me on Instagram and put your Instagram username with your comment in the comments bar down below. All the official giveaway rules and everything like that are going to be in the down bar, so please, please, please check down there if you're wanting to enter this giveaway. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye!